and you basically want to pick any color you like. I'm going to pick blue in this case, nice bright and blue. We're gonna add a stroke, a nice uh, outline. So I'm going to make that outline color black. As you can see right now, this looks very tight. Click add some outer glow and add some shadow. So this looks very cool, but we're gonna add in a black bar underneath it. <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Twitch tutorial and in this video guys, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a nice overlay. We're not gonna download anything from uh, Google and then use that, no, we're gonna create a nice awesome overlay just using Photoshop. So it's gonna be really easy, so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right here, we are in Photoshop right now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new fresh project. So we're gonna click on file, I'm gonna click on new and what you want to do first of all is really important in this box we're going to select and uh, the the width is going to be 1920 and the height is going to be 1080 so it's going to be 1080p so what we're going to do is we're going to click on create and as you can see right now we have a nice blank project now what we're going to do first of all is we are going to place our name at the top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little text icon right here and we're going to start adding some awesome text so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my name but as you can see it's way too small so i'm going to just double click on it and i'm going to make it a little bit bigger let's say that we're going to go for a hundred that looks very cool uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to ma still make it a little bit bigger so first of all uh, i'm going to make sure that it is spelled right just alex halford like so and what we're going to do first of all is we're going to uh make it a little bit bigger like i said so what we're going to do is we're going to press ctrl t so that will that uh, makes us able to resize the text to a little bit bigger uh, uh, font as you can see right here. I'm going to place that at the top. So what we're going to do then is I'm going to make it a little bit smaller though. Then I'm going to place it at the top. And in order to center this, what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and place it right here. Then press Control A. So then everything is selected. Go to layer, align layers to selection, horizontal centers. And if you click on it, boom, it is now awesome and horizontal. So what we're gonna do then uh, next is we're gonna pick a different font. Uh, the font that I always use is Limerick Heavy. So I'm gonna type in Limerick and I'm going to click on this one. Boom, now it's not really centered anymore. Go back to Control A and then click on layer, uh, align layers to selection, click on horizontal and boom, we have our nice text. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the background because this has to be PNG. Then I'm gonna right click on the text layer, click on blending options and we're gonna give this a nice color. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna click on color overlay and you basically want to pick any color you like. I'm going to pick blue in this case, nice bright and blue. We're gonna add a stroke, a nice uh, outline. So I'm going to make that outline color black. As you can see right now, this looks very tight. Click add some outer glow and add some shadow so this looks very cool but we're gonna add in a black bar underneath it and we're gonna make that different color so I'm gonna go ahead and drag in a black image as you guys can see nothing special nothing fancy and we're gonna place that uh, under the text so I'm gonna make this go uh, across the entire screen then I'm going to play uh, place this under the text and I'm going to uh, place that right here now I'm going to also change the uh, the uh, black bar so I'm going to right click blending options and you can click on uh, gradient overlay and as you can see we have a really awesome cool overlay we can choose uh, many different colors I'm going to just pick let's see what we're going to pick I think yellow looks pretty cool with some orange overlay now I'm going to go ahead and click on ok uh, click on ok again and then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this and we're going to click on duplicate layer. Now we have two times this one and I'm going to right click and I'm going to make this one light blue. So we click on color overlay and we're going to make this uh, light blue. So I'm going to place it right here as you can see and make it this kind of blue. Now that looks really cool and we're going to, uh, you know, uh, put in the text uh, uh, first of all, but I'm going to resize it a little bit and I'm going to place it under the yellow bar. So I'm going to Put the layer under it as you can see and right here we're gonna uh, fill in three things that's going to be new follower latest donation and top donation so we're gonna click on text icon we're gonna click in new follower like so follower like this uh, i'm gonna make the text white first of all and i'm going to just right click on it blending options uh, make the color overlay uh, white and I'm going to add in a nice black stroke so as you can see this says new follower and this is going to show the new followers that have followed your account 
on YouTube either or on Twitch. So I'm going to click on this one and it is not really that clear. So I'm going to go back to blending options and I'm going to go to stroke. I'm going to put this one to the outside and this looks very, very tight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just duplicate this one. Just right click duplicate layer. And then what we're going to do is we are going to type in uh, latest donator like so boom and now what we're going to do is we're going to place that underneath this one and then we're going to just duplicate this layer once more and we're going to type in top donator so that looks very very cool and i'm going to place it i would say uh this one right here this guy in the middle and that looks very very tight so as you can see right now it says uh later uh, a new follower uh, latest donation and top donation, but this one the name is gonna appear right here So we're gonna make we're gonna make that blue box a little bit more white So the name will fit in so I'm gonna do it like this and this one looks very cool And as you can see right now, we have just Alex Albert at the top We have a nice gradient bar yellow to orange We have new follower latest donation top donation in a nice blue box even you can also Click on blending options on the box and even add some awesome shadow as you can see and some glow I think that looks very cool. I'm going to make the color black and also the shadow. Uh, make sure to put that one to normal. And as you can see, this is how amazing it looks. So this is basically, you know, paying some attention to details. And I'm going to also make a nice uh, uh, shadow on the uh, yellow bar at the top. So let's say that we're going to place it like this. I'm going to also add in a nice glow and make that glow black. Uh, also put that one to normal opacity maximum and as you can see glow if you do it like this that looks very cool So this is basically how to create a really 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 basic uh, Overlay for twitch what you want to do then is you want to go to file You want to click on save as and in order to save this without a background What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on PNG now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this a name. I'm just gonna call this overlay That's pretty accurate then we're gonna click on save uh, click on ok and then we're gonna go to our OBS right here as you can see this is our OBS that we that we want to use for streaming obviously and once uh, the OBS has finished loading what we're gonna do then is we're gonna create a new scene and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to add that overlay Okay guys, this is our OBS. I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna right click in the sources tab, add a scene, I'm gonna call that one streaming, as you can see like so. Click on okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the sources, click on add, and I'm going to click on an image. Now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna call this overlay and we're gonna select the overlay that we just created in Photoshop. So as you can see right here is the overlay, I'm gonna double click on it, click on okay. And if you click on preview stream, we have our awesome overlay and obviously the rest is black because we don't have any gameplay but this is how to do it guys this is how you create an awesome overlay in obs in photoshop so that's the same this guys so if you want to see more of those twitch tutorials every thursday make sure to smash the like button down below also subscribe down below for more videos and i'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new after effects tutorial as always on friday and remember to participate in the giveaway i'm giving away two elgato hc60s so make sure to just go ahead and check out uh, the link in my bio and on instagram or Twitter to get a chance to win one of those bad boys. As you can see right now, um, those are the two Elgados I'll be giving away. The only thing you need to do is go to the link in the description, like I said at the beginning while we were driving here. It will take you to a competition where you can complete tasks. I cannot say it enough. You, the only thing you need to do is just click on those little tasks and then you can make a chance to win one of those bad boys. They're 200 each, so it's a $400 giveaway. It's like, you know, a pretty valuable a giveaway that is basically what I wanted to announce no more announcing like the giveaway is gonna start in in this You know period the giveaway started when you're watching this video and make sure to grab your copy of this one and uh, I would say good luck to everyone. I will keep you guys posted on Twitter But you guys can also follow me there and you can find also some HD 60 uh, Elgato update tweets about how it's going and uh, That's all I wanted to say guys. Thank you for the support. I hope you guys will enter to win one of these the shipping is all on my end guys so you can also use that one for streaming so that's it that's all i have for you guys today so i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video just alex halford